okay, how about this? How about this? What if the Shroud of Turin is real? <laughs> that would be contemporary evidence. It would be of of a uh, of what? Of careful of now. something awkwardly happening to a body that's wrapped in a shroud. Okay, I'll grant you that. But unfortunately we radiocarbon date that and it's not from the first century. Let's say we could take the Shroud of Turin. Let's say you and I actually had it in our possession. And let's say we found five universities around the world to radiocarbon date it again. And not just one corner, random spots all over. Yeah, yeah. And at different depths. Okay? Yes. How much of your net worth would you be willing to bet that, that all five, or let's say even four of the five, will come out to the first century? <laughs> If I could, if I if I trusted the labs, yes. Okay. I don't trust. I don't completely trust carbon dating. Well, okay. Now, now we're to the point where, if there's a, would you trust it if all five of them said it was first entry? Probably See? because yeah, because this was the result you want. <laughs> so you would so change your mind if we did that. Ran this. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So now all we have to do, isn't it curious to you that uh, the Roman Catholics or whoever own it won't allow that? Isn't it curious? I mean, I wish they would. Like, is I it people, people keep poo-pooing that conspiracy theories don't happen, but this is a conspiracy theory where the leaders who own this shroud, the whoever owns it, are conspiring against the world to have this idea that this is from the first century when they can very easily change many people's minds including you by just giving up the shroud to be tested in various spots at various depths and if i mean even if it just one result came to the first century that would give some christians hope but i'm saying you're going to get all of the carbon testing being in that 13 14th century range whatever it was yeah, I think the issue for them is that they have nothing to lose. So, in other words, they are accruing. Well, they have nothing wealth. to gain. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and everything yeah, to lose. Yeah. 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 yeah exactly. Like, yeah, who's going who's going to come look at the shroud if they actually do this and it ends up being a 14th right. century? Like, and no they're one... making money off of it. I mean, they're they're yeah. they're, they're established. I mean, I get that concept. I mean, it's religions unfortunately is a is a big business maybe one of the biggest businesses so i i understand the negativity and the dubious nature but of, this is you know, also, i understand why an atheist would think this so. is also hypocrisy because christians are supposed to be the ones who value truth the most because they have the truth jesus is the truth and if christians and christianity want to not look like hypocrites they should give up the shroud to the whole world to be tested and then people can finally shut up about it. <laughs>